Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Welcome to the Sarai Knowledge Portal. I hope you and your family are doing very well and in good health. Today our team will introduce to you the digital platforms and applications we develop for Project Sarai, a DOST Picard funded project for smarter agriculture. For today's topics, we will start with the description of the Sarai Knowledge Portal, followed by a demonstration on how to navigate the portal from top to bottom. Then we will present sample site-specific advisories and the climate data we use to generate those advisories. Lastly, we will preview the Sarai Community Platform and the ongoing activities in the Knowledge Portal development. What is the Sarai Knowledge Portal? The Sarai Knowledge Portal is an internet-based program that serves as a one-stop shop to a wide range of climate-smart agricultural information and services. It serves as an integration tool that allows the 15 Sarai components to share their output to the public. The portal answers the following questions. When to plant? to minimize damage from natural disasters, where to plant to find a suitable location for their crops, and how to apply the right amount of pesticide, fertilizers, and water for irrigation. In general, we aim to assist provincial and municipal agricultural officers in delivering timely advisories and help our farmers to be more productive and proactive in attaining maximum yield and profit. We grouped our developed applications into four categories. Category one, farm management solutions consisting of crop advisories, bulletins, pest control recommendations, and community platform where we collaborate and share resources. Category two, monitoring and decision support systems for environmental characterization used in coming up with our advisories. Category three, interactive maps for nationwide location-specific visualization. Categories two and three are for researchers and extension workers who would like to validate our bulletins or make their own recommendations based on our AWS, sensors, and satellite data. Lastly, we have in various stages of development, mobile apps where we translate our web-based application into mobile applications for better accessibility. Today, we will focus on applications in categories one, two, and three. To visit the portal, just type www.sarai.ph or sarai.ph for short in your browser and wait for the page to load. Let's begin with the four sections in the navigation bar. About us, advisories, maps, and services. If you want to learn about the team behind the project, click about us. You can read on who we are what we do followed by introductory videos you can play to give you more ideas about Project Sarai. There is also a map showing where we are. You can click on our collaborator's name to know more about our partners. The different team components of Project Sarai are also listed. You can click their titles to know more about the teams and their experts. For example, you can click on Project 3.3. You will see their objectives, their staff, and team of experts. Now, let us proceed to Crop Advisories, the next section in the top navigation bar. We have two types of advisories. One, National and Regional Bulletin for Corn and Other Rain-Fed Crops. Two, Sarai site-specific advisories for rice, corn, banana, coffee, and cacao. 
If you're interested in the national and regional forecast, click the link and view a PDF file. On the other hand, if you prefer site-specific advisories, choose the crop and the site in the drop-down menu. Let's take a look at the current national and regional bulletin for corn. This is for July to November based on June 2020 condition. For the nationwide overview, the current bulletin validates the previous report that there will be a favorable condition this growing season since there will be enough rain. There is also a note that farmers should start planting immediately after harvest to avert the stress that will come from the dry spell in the early part of first quarter of 2021. As we scroll down the document, we can see a table summarizing the comparison of five-month cumulative rainfall forecast to 40-year average rainfall. This can help the concerned institutions to have an idea of the rainfall pattern in the respective areas. Next are the regional advisories. Let's have the Cordillera Administrative Region as an example. As you can see, the rainfall prediction for every province is displayed in a table and a general advisory is prescribed above. Based on the pro provincial rainfall prediction, the region is expected to be very wet, especially during August, which is the expected corn harvest time, and availability of mechanical dryers is essential except for Benguet. Again, farmers are reminded to plant immediately after harvest to avoid the effects of dry spell in January 2021. If you want to know more about these advisories, just view and download this document in the advisory section. Now let us go to the site-specific recommendations. We will just select a crop and a site. Select a crop, grain-fed rice. For this site, Kabakan, North Cotabato, they were advised to plant last June 26 until mid-July. It was also emphasized that rainfall in the area is significantly low yet manageable for rain-fed rice. We can also see a graph showing a 30-day cumulative rainfall for the site. We can place our pointer to a specific day to see more details. There's a more button below which leads us to the advisories page where all the advisories can be found. Just click on the title of an advisory to read the full content. Next, we have Jay Mariano, a member of our team, to show the weather forecast, rainfall outlook, and other SIMS reports. Jay? Next, we have the weather forecast. It displays the expected amount of rainfall for today and the next five days on locations with Sarai installed automatic weather station. You can choose a location by selecting in the drop down. The forecast will change based on the location. We are also tweeting the advisories, so you can click the Twitter feed on the bottom right part to view the tweets. If you click the More button, you will be redirected to a separate weather forecast page. You can choose a location by selecting on the drop-down or by clicking on the pointer in the map. Let's choose ISU Kabagan. We can now see the full forecast on the site. We can also see a graph showing the 30-day cumulative rainfall for the selected site plus 6-day forecast. There is also a bar graph and a table to compare the values of the AWS. For the bar graph, just hover the pointer to see full details, and you can also download the graph in various formats. While for the table, 
you can type it directly into the space provided. You can sort the values from highest to lowest or vice versa to know the site with highest or lowest amount of forecasted rainfall. Click on the next page if you want to see the other sites. For those locations without Sarai installed AWS or if you want a longer rainfall forecast, you can explore the Sarai Rainfall Outlook. It provides a 5-month rainfall forecast down to the municipal level. Just select the province and municipality from the drop-down. Again, click the More button to see more details. You can set the location of the outlook you want to view. You can also compare and download the values in a municipality in the bar graph provided. There is also a search bar on the table if you want to type directly the municipality you are interested in. Just like in the weather monitoring, you can also sort the values of the rainfall outlook by clicking the arrows. A monthly color-coded nationwide map is also available for you to print and to download. Next, we have the Sarai Escuela section. You can explore here the materials we are using for the webinar. You can also view announcements and schedule of webinars so you can prepare ahead of time. Just click the play button to watch the featured videos. You can also download the tentative schedule by clicking this button. Click the more button to go to the separate page where all the webinar videos are expected to be displayed. The tentative schedule is also displayed for easier viewing. All weather forecasts, climate outlook, and crop advisories are available in mobile apps. To address our problem with the availability of reliable internet bandwidth, we made an app where you can access our climate smart recommendations using your mobile devices. Here is MJ to describe how to use the app. MJ? The Sarai Agricultural Monitoring is technically the mobile version of the Sarai Knowledge Portal. It allows users to have the Sarai outputs on their mobile phones for easy retrieval and viewing. Users can access the data they retrieved even if they have no internet connection. Features of the Sarai Mobile are the 5-day weather forecast, 5-month rainfall outlook, drought and crop assessment, and cropping advisory. Upon opening the app, Users can read more about the weather forecast by clicking this button. They can also change the displayed weather forecast by changing the station from the available drop-down list. Once the station for the weather forecast is set, the rainfall outlook and the drought and crop assessment for that municipality will also change. Click on the More button to view the rainfall outlook data for all the municipalities in the Philippines. There is also a question mark button if you want to know more about the section. Cropping advisory for the area will also be displayed. Users just have to click the expand button to see the full details. Entries in the application will be updated every time the users connect on the internet. They can see the last update in this section. One Sarai application should be used to view rainfall forecast for locations without Sarai installed AWS. Alin sa mga sumusunod ang dapat gamitin para makita ang rainfall forecast para sa mga lugar na walang itinayong AWS ng Sarai. A. Sarai Cropping Advisories B. Weather Monitoring C. Rainfall Outlook the answer is C, Rainfall Outlook. Next, we have Aldrin to present the output of the CAF, Soils, and Crop Protection Group. You can use this section on the homepage to view the SBTR forecast by province. We'll click the More button to see more details. The SBTR forecast for the following months are color-coded. Let's look at the forecast for all provinces using the interactive table available at the middle of the page. The table can be sorted per column, or we can type on the search bar to look for content.
The forecast can also be viewed using a color-coded map. If you click the button here, the map can be downloaded. The SBTR forecast is also available in the interactive maps. You can zoom in and out and use the tools that are available. You can click on the Learn More button to learn more about SBTR maps. Then click on the navigation bar, Maps, and then Suitability Maps. A pop-up will appear. Uh, it says that you can click the icons on the left and the Learn More button at the bottom. So the crops will be listed here. You can click them to overlay suitability maps for that crop. Cacao, for example. So we'll zoom in. Uh, you can see at the bottom that there are 15 colors or, or types of suitability levels. So highly suitable, uh, moderately suitable with limitation in soil, elevation, and combination of soil, elevation, and slope. So see here. So these are check boxes. So if you want to turn them on and off, you have to click them. So if you unclick or uncheck a checkbox, it will not be displayed. So we'll just have to wait for the map to reload because it takes a long time to process the map. Okay, so there. The map's been reloaded and uh, the six suitability levels are hidden the unchecked ones so we can use the tools provided in the app like this search bar so you have to type then click that magnifying lens icon and it will go to the location that was found Okay, we'll now use a measuring tool, so let's zoom in. For example, we want to measure a uh, highly suitable area of cacao in this part of Mindoro. So all you have to do is click the measuring tool. It measures distances, distances and area, so all you have to do is like, draw outline that area you want and a measurement will appear so it's 66.44 hectares and with a 3.14 kilometer perimeter so you can hide the legend panel you can share this page to different social media platforms twitter you can view sarai's youtube page there's also a basic translation button here, the Filipino. And finally, you can click learn more to read about suitability maps and see the step-by-step -step tutorial. This is the Insect Pest and Disease Library web app. So, this is the front page. To start using the app, all you have to do is to click an image of a crop, so this one, and then a list of the pests and diseases will be displayed. You can change the number of items per page, or you can go to the next page. To filter items, you can search by name, so all pests or diseases with worm on the name will be displayed. You can also filter by type, so either pest or disease. You can further 
filter by type of disease, fungal, viral, or bacterial. To view detailed info about an item, all you have to do is click and a description and management practice for that disease will be displayed. So we'll look at another one. Its name, scientific name, stages of development, host range, damage characteristics, and different management practices are listed here. To go back, all you have to do is to click on this menu. So we'll try and look at other crops. So, for example, banana. Pest and disease of banana. So this one. So to go back, use the menu. And then from the app, there's also a link to you to the Sarai Speed Tech mobile application. And then that's it for Sarai Insect Pest and Disease Library. What Sarai application can be used to identify crop pests and diseases? Alin sa mga sumusunod ang maaaring gamitin sa pagkilala ng mga peste at sakit ng banan. A. Suitability Map B. Speed Tech C. Sarai Cropping Advisors The answer is B. Speed Tech And last but not the least, we have Miss J to demonstrate the community platform and the upcoming mobile apps. Sarai Community, on the other hand, features the different technologies which are still under development and provides an avenue for users to interact with the project teams and with each other. This is where we envision the different Sarai stakeholders to collaborate and share knowledge with each other. You can access the Sarai community in the Sarai Knowledge Portal navigation bar under the Services section. Just like the Sarai Knowledge Portal landing page, the Sarai community banner features the priority crops of Sarai. Below it are the different actions you can do in the Sarai community. You can register in the Sarai community to join groups and comment on posts, visit the Sarai Knowledge Portal, and to know more about the project, which leads to the About Us section in the Sarai Knowledge Portal. You can also play videos prepared by Sarai. Next to the video library are the featured public posts of the community members, which are grouped based on different categories. You can click on any post to see the full details. For first-time users of the community, you need to register through this button. If you already have an existing account, continue logging in using your registered username and password. For Sarai Community Admin accounts, they will have an admin dashboard just like this where they can change the appearance of the landing page. They can also see the analytics of the page. Let's proceed to the contents of the user profile. Here, you can see the details of your profile, your community feed which contains the posts from your subscribed groups, and the list of groups you are subscribed to. You can also change your profile picture and cover photo. Upon clicking the Groups tab, 
you can see all the groups you made and you are part of. You can also see your role in that group or if your membership is still pending. Adding a group is easy. You just have to click this button, accomplish the necessary fields, then click Submit. For the privacy settings, click Private if you want to screen first the members of your group. Pending requests will appear here. Now, let's take a look at what's happening inside the group. Let's take the corn group as an example. This account can read both the public and private posts since it is a member of the group. We have here the corn toolkit seen in the featured post on the landing page. Post creators can choose to post their entries in the landing page subject to the approval of the community admin. Let's create the post. You need to identify the type of entry you'll be posting based on the options from the drop-down. Upload a thumbnail if you want. Add tags. Tags are important in categorizing the articles, so make sure that you pick the appropriate tags. You can also create a new one if you think it does not belong to any of the existing tags. Then click Submit. Once submitted, you can see it already in the post section. You can click this button to ask the admin to feature it in the landing page by clicking Add to Home. Then, just like in other sites, click Log Out if you wish to terminate your session. Thank you, Jay. You have seen the technologies we are preparing for Project Sarai. We are hopeful that these apps can help our farmers ensure our food security. In the past few months, technology has been put to the test like never before. On one hand, the government is trying to find answers in data and numbers. On the other, scientists are looking at new breakthroughs to simulate complex problems and create solutions. Join us in exploring ways on how to make technology work for innovation in agriculture. Be the game changers in bringing solutions to our farmers and get them ready for the new normal. Thank you. Thank you for listening.